There are cameras everywhere, street corner surveillance to body cams to cell phones recording in real time what's happening in America, displaying the chilling images and distressed voices of the victims of gun violence, their families left to fight for the injustices of their loved ones. Enter attorney Benjamin Crump. I believe that um, God chooses all of us for a purpose and he blesses us. He gave me this law degree gave me these talents and shame on me if I don't use this uh, blessing to try to help the least of ye. Benjamin Crump has created a significant legal legacy that ensures that the promise found in our nation's constitution is indeed real. He's both a litigator and an advocate who has ensured that those most frequently marginalized are protected by the nation's contract with its constituency. Attorney Crump serves as a voice for the voiceless in high-profile pro bono cases with widespread civil rights implications. Over the past 20 years, he has advocated on behalf of victims of police brutality in court, including Terrence Crutcher of Tulsa, Oklahoma, 14-year-old Martin Lee Anderson of Bay County, Florida, 12-year-old Tamir Rice of Cleveland, Ohio, 18-year-old Michael Brown of Ferguson, Missouri, and the president setting Robbie Tolan, U.S. Supreme Court case. All black men and boys who were victims of shootings or death in altercations with law enforcement. Attorney Crump successfully campaigned to have George Zimmerman arrested and tried for the death of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. And he represented 10 black women who were the victims in the Haltzclaw, Oklahoma City Police rape case in 2015, solidifying his reputation as an ambassador of justice for all. He is a frequent speaker and author, which includes his critically acclaimed article, The Police Don't Shoot White Men in the Back representing minorities in police brutality cases. He is featured in documentaries such as BET's I Am Trayvon Martin, A Family's Fight for Justice, NPR's How a Lawyer Got America Talking About Trayvon Martin, and The Ferguson Cover-Up, The Tragedy Killing of Michael Brown. Attorney Crump serves on the Innocence Project Board of Directors, was the first African-American to chair Florida State University College of Law's Board of Directors, and served as the 73rd President of the National Bar Association. Attorney Crump understands that the practice of law is a privilege that carries with it certain responsibilities and obligations to our society and to our democracy. He gives freely and unselfishly of his time and his legal talent to represent the poor, the powerless, the defenseless, and the oppressed among us. He strives through his work to fulfill the promise of equal justice for all. I'm MC Light. We're proud to present the Freedom Award to this awesome brother, a champion of victims' rights, Benjamin Crump Esquire.